Hi folks, this is a time lapse of a battle demo that I made in Pygame. It's turn based and has similar mechanics to a Final Fantasy style RPG. So I started off by creating my game window and setting a background to it, uh, and then I get into creating a fighter class. So this fighter class is going to contain all of the information about each individual fighter and it just means I can create as many of them as I want quite quickly. So here I've created the player and two enemies. Uh, at the moment they're both just static images but I, I can easily add in animations into it and, and that's why I work on after. So the first one I add in is idle animation so you can see now when there's no actions the players are all kind of just bobbing up and down. So there's a space underneath and that's just reserved for where I want to have the additional information. So the first thing I want to put in there is health bars for the player and for the bandits. And then additionally I want to put on some kind of panel image there and I'll add more information to it as I go. So I start off by adding this panel. Uh, the next thing I want to do is add in some additional animations as well as some actual interaction. So the animation I want to add in is an attack animation and the interaction is going to be that when the mouse goes over one of the enemies the mouse cursor actually changes to a little sword and that indicates that you're able to attack. So you can see that here now when I mouse over I can attack and I've got the animation playing as well and on top of that I've got the enemies also taking their turns so this is where the kind of turn based thing comes into it. Uh, you notice the health bar has gone completely off on the left hand side I just haven't coded that part in just yet. Uh, but before I get into that, I want to add in a little bit more of an animation, and that's a hurt animation. So now you can see whenever an enemy or a player takes damage, they kind of flash white. So it just adds a little bit more uh, polish to this, to this little demo. And lastly, quite easily, I, I was able to add on more animations. So the last one I added on is for when the player or the enemies die. So when I kill this bandit here, he should run through his death animation and then the knight gets killed as well, so he dies as well. So one thing that's missing is when there's any damage being taken, it doesn't really show up. It just gets, uh, you just see it in the health bar reducing. So I wanted to add these little floating damage texts, which you can see there. So anytime there's any damage, this little red text appears and it shows how much was actually dealt. At the moment they kind of just float off the top of the screen but uh, I'll be able to just add a counter to them so that rather than continuing to float off they float for a certain amount and then just disappear. So that's attacking added. The other thing I wanted to add is a potion button so the, the player can heal. So I've, I've created the button classes before and so it was quite easy to just copy and paste that code and all I needed to do here was just make sure that when that button is clicked the player can heal and I added in uh, a damage text for healing as well so you can see it was green instead of red that time and that damage text class is quite easy to change so I can change it to any color I need in this instance I'm only using red and green for damage and heal so the player has got potions the other thing to add was for the, for the bandit staff potions so you notice there the bandit just healed the code for that I just made quite basic basically as long as the bandit's health drops below 50% if they have any potions then they'll use one to heal up. So that's all the fighting mechanics pretty much coded in now. The thing that's left is when either the player dies or the bandits die there's no game over condition. So that's what I added in here. So once I either kill both of the bandits or the knight gets killed then I get either a victory or a defeat. So in this case the player has been defeated but still there's no restart so there's nothing actually happens when well either the bandits die or the player dies so the only remaining thing to do on that is just to add a restart button which again because I've got this button class I can simply feed in a different image for it so I've got this image of a restart button I can feed that in and then I can take a response from it so whenever that button is clicked I just run a reset method and the reset method all it does is just sets the the health of all the players all the fighters back to the original health it resets the original variables and it resets the number of potions so everything just starts all over again so that's pretty much it for this demo thanks for watching